Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. Welcome to Nevada News Magazine. On the broadcast today, Tim Sieber joins us. He's the head of AHA Airlines. He's head of the business unit. He'll be here for the whole show on an all-new Nevada News Magazine. Reckless Washington spending is driving up prices for Nevadans. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto voted to allow hundreds of millions of dollars of COVID relief funds to be wasted on frivolous projects not in Nevada. More silly inflationary spending. Senator Cortez Masto voted to allow a college to hire a poet in Connecticut and funding for 18th century French operas in Washington, D.C.? Tell Senator Cortez Masto to start voting against wasteful spending to stop inflation. Pro Group Management is the place where companies can find workers' comp solutions that are designed to meet their specific business requirements. As regulations evolve, Pro Group takes a proactive approach to clear the path to make sure your business stays ahead of the curve. Knowing your workers' comp program is optimized, you can focus on other important matters related to your growing business. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. Brian Culpa Photography was born in the rolling hills of Massachusetts, and now he can help you experience the stunning beauty of Nevada in a whole new way through the power of flight. Flying has always been a passion for Brian, and at Brian Culpa Photography, he can make your imagination soar. Brian has the creative mind and tools to tell your unique story. Experience the bird's eye view at brianculpaphotography.com. What do you count on? You count on your power every day. At NV Energy, we've always powered what's important to you, but we're not looking at the past. We're focused on the future. While our standards are high, our rates will remain low. And our commitment to renewables isn't just meeting standards, but leading the way. Because you can count on more than just your power. You can count on the company who brings it to you. That's our promise. You can count on it. This is Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad, a no-holds-barred political forum. Now, from the Nevada Newsmakers broadcast headquarters, here is Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we're very pleased to welcome to the program for the first time Tim Sieber. He is the head of AHA, their business unit. It's a pleasure to have you on the program, sir. Thank you for having us. So let's start out by explaining what AHA is. Okay, so AHA is the leisure brand of Express Jet Airlines. We are based here in Reno, Nevada. Express Jet is actually headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Express Jet has been around about 40 years. Most of its life it flew as an express or a connection carrier for one of the major airlines. Yeah, United, right? United and uh, previously also with Delta and American. Uh, but we launched AHA as our leisure brand here uh, in October of 2021. Okay, so congratulations on coming Thanks. up on your one year anniversary. So about a year and a half ago, Gary Carano was on the program, the head of Caesars, he's the executive yes. chairman. And we were talking about, um, you know, service to Reno and other places for Caesars. And I brought up the idea of Reno Air, mm -hmm. which, what, 30 years ago now, uh, was a combination of Harris and the Rio putting up $15 million each to start this airline. And, um, you know, it, it sounded like he was heading towards something like that, and then he kind of cut me off and moved on in the discussion. Um, is this kind of an outbreak uh, of that? Are, are you being sponsored by Caesars and other properties in Reno? So first of all, I'll say that kudos to Gary Carano because you know the airline industry is probably the worst bet you could ever make. Um, but that being said, no, we are not in any way backed by the casinos. That being said, we have partnerships with all of the major properties here in town. Uh, Caesars in particular is one of those properties that will uh, you know, purchase tickets from us at an off-tariff rate and bring in their high rollers and, t t you know, partner them up with a hotel room and bring them in from some of our communities. Okay, and so that that's already going? That's and, already and, going, yeah. And, and how is it going? Because most of your jets uh, carry about 50 passengers, right? That's correct. And they're, they're not, for the most part, from the major markets. They're from sub-markets in Northern California, the Pacific Northwest, right. down in Southern California. Right, and, and, that's, and that's exactly what our niche is, is we think that there's a there's enough people that want to come to Reno from these small towns. You know, we don't go multiple times a day. We go three times a week, in some cases two times a week. 
Uh, you know, we try to time it so that, you know, you come in on a Thursday, leave on a Sunday, you get a long weekend, or it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday pattern. Um, and, and that's sort of what our niche market is. We, we very deliberately don't compete with other airlines. <laughs> okay. And, and um, for the most part, are you not as much looking for people from Reno to be going to these other markets? Is it more of a tourism play? So the, it's been kind of surprising to us. You know, we kind of looked at this when we first studied the market as very much like Las Vegas, in that if you look at the passengers at the Las Vegas airport, 70% of those passengers who go, you know, in and out of that airport are coming into Las Vegas. Only about 30% are actually Vegas area residents. For us, it's turned out to be about a 45-55 mix in most markets. And I think part of that is the inbound migration that has occurred into the Reno-Tahoe area over the last five, six years in particular, uh, both with the growth in the tech sector and then, you know, kind of people leaving the Bay Area and Southern California during the pandemic. So it's been surprising. Uh, we started the airline with the goal of bringing people into Reno. Uh, we're happy, though, to bring people back to visit their friends and families and wherever they migrated to here from. Yeah, and as I was looking uh, um, online at uh, some of the information from, uh, from AHA, um, places like Ontario, California, right. um, Palm Springs, I, I wasn't actually aware, for example, that Ontario was, was one of your flights. Uh, because I was just in Ontario recently <laughs> and I would have taken AHA if I'd have known that uh, it was available. Um, that, that's a very thriving community. And it, it seems is. like it wouldn't be that big of a deal to fill 150 seats a week um, in each direction. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, how is that going? Ontario is actually, it, it's a great market for us. It took us a while uh, to kind of get recognition in the Ontario market. You know, when you think about the Los Angeles market from the perspective of what it costs to advertise down there. Right. You know, <laughs> and we're pushing 150 seats a week, which is actually less than what most airlines push in a single departure. So, you know, we kind of had to do, get into kind of guerrilla marketing. We did a lot of digital. Uh, we work with the airport. So Ontario is slow to go initially, but it's actually one of our better markets right now. And it's expanding. I mean, that's going to be a huge airport by the time they're done. It, it, it is. And, you know, it's, it's one of those airports that's been a great partner to work with. They, re they were part of the Los Angeles airport system. They're now an independent authority, which gives them ex much more flexibility. And yeah, I mean, that, that, po you, the, that population base can't go west because they're going to be in the water. Right. So they've got to go east. And, uh, you know, we think we've made a great investment in Ontario. Okay. Do you think that Reno um, is well known enough in the Pacific Northwest and in California? Um, Tahoe has always been better known than Reno yeah. um, in the big picture. Um, does Reno need to be doing more marketing outside of the market to let people know what we have here? Because it's always been that case. I mean, the last 40 years, uh, Reno has had fabulous things going on, but not right. talked about it as much because they didn't need to back right. in the day when gambling was the big thing. Um, but now we're this huge tech center. Uh, we've got all kinds of things going on. Uh, redevelopment is huge. Um, and yet it seems like we're still not that well known. Well, you know, it's interesting. So one of the things that we try to do, we emphasize in our communication in these communities is everything that you just said, that, Re you know, this is not the Reno of the 60s and 70s, you know, where it was primarily a gaming town. Yes, we emphasize because we were primarily a tourism-based airline, um, Tahoe and the gaming, but there's all this other stuff that is, you know, emerging in here. Hot August Nights is one of these things that we're promoting right now on our social media. Um, that being said, we are working with the RCVA. They've been great partners with us. Um, you know, we ran a, you know, we run contests with them where we give away trips to Reno and that kind of creates a buzz. So working in partnership with these folks, um, you know, you know, again, the gaming industry, the RCVA, you know, we're trying to create awareness of everything that Reno has to offer beyond just to your point, Lake Tahoe and the gaming community. You know, it's also interesting that uh, with the advent of um, El Dorado buying Caesars mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the, the whole move, um, has been extraordinary because the Carano family is intimately aware of Lake Tahoe because they've had a huge home up there yeah. on the lake forever up at Glenbrook. And it's like they have totally revitalized Harvey's and Harris up at the lake. Um, are you seeing that trend reflected in your airline bookings? You know, we don't track specifically unless Caesars is actually booking the customer, you know, to one of their properties. Uh, we don't track specifically um, you know, which hotel folks are going to. Uh, 
Um, you know, we do know. Uh, well, there's only four people. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, but but yeah. So, uh, but that being said, you know, we we work with them and we say, hey, we're thinking about flying to X. You know, what's your customer base? You know, what's, what's your customer base? And they'll go back and they'll check their lists and say, you know what, you know, Harvey's has a good customer base from that community, and you know, that might be worth a shot. Um, so, you know, we, we, as I'm sure you're aware, you know, casinos are very protective of their lists, <laughs> you know, as, as are we, you know, privacy concerns. Um, but we work with them very closely, you know, to try and get folks down. You know, it's interesting you bring this up because years ago, Tony Marnell, who built the Rio and built pretty much all of the major properties on the Strip, um, uh, but when he built the Rio, um, one of the reasons he got behind building a high-speed train from Las Vegas to Victorville was the number of people who had gaming cards from the Inland Empire. Mm -hmm. And so that was a major point in pushing this high-speed rail, which looks like it's finally going to break ground maybe later this year or beginning of next year. Um, are there other markets that are calling out to you and saying, hey, we, we could use service here? Because so many of them have gotten dropped because they just weren't big enough for yeah. the Southwests and the other yeah. big players. There are some markets. There are some markets that, you know, probably wouldn't surprise. I'm not going to tell you what our markets, right. the markets that we're looking at, but there are markets that, you know, there's, you know, we started out with less than about 25 markets that we think we can serve nonstop from here. Um, you know, there's probably five or six that are, you know, we'll, we'll probably launch two more in the fall, and we're already kind of planning our spring 2023. Um, you know, one of the interesting opportunities we have with the 50-seat jet is it's the perfect airplane for college basketball. So we're really, really busy in the winter doing charter flights with college basketball. So we're actually going to be bringing in aircraft probably into the fall. Those aircraft will be dedicated to college basketball charters, and then we'll add more flying out of Reno in the spring. Yeah, and, but to your to your your core question is, you know, we're we're having discussions specifically with our gaming partners about, you know, hey, we're looking at this city. Does this something that you think? You know, can you go back and check your lists and see if that is, is something that would be of interest to you and your customers? Yeah, there's been comments online um, that, you know, so many towns in California and across the Pacific Northwest already have gaming, that gaming isn't a draw. But yep. nobody wants to play at the same casino all the time. No, they don't. They, you're, you're absolutely right. And in fact, you know, one of the things that we do is, uh, you know, we try to find out who is going to that local casino because there's somebody with a pendant, pendant for, uh, for gaming and try and target them in our digital marketing. You know, there's this geofencing now that you can actually track on sure. people's cell phone devices where they go. Um, so if you go into the local casino, you know, outside of Spokane, Washington, you're likely to see on your social media feeds an ad for us with nonstop flights to Reno. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back with more with Tim Sieber, who's the head of the AHA Business Unit. It's a new airline that's been flying for the last year out of Reno, and we'll be right back. Reckless Washington spending is driving up prices for Nevadans. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto voted to allow hundreds of millions of dollars of COVID relief funds to be wasted on frivolous projects not in Nevada. More silly inflationary spending. Senator Cortez Masto voted to allow a college to hire a poet in Connecticut and funding for 18th century French operas in Washington, D.C.? Tell Senator Cortez Masto to start voting against wasteful spending to stop inflation. Hi, I'm Renee Summer, our digital news anchor here at 7 at 7. Watch our streaming nonstop newscast immediately with your mobile phone. 7 at 7 is the new way for you to get every bit of local news you need in just seven minutes. Breaking news, local neighborhood news, weather and sports are just a click away. Reporters bring you all of what's happening in the valley from Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, YouTube and more. Get every bit of local news you need from the RJ and LVRJ.com. I'm here at the Carson Valley Inn in Minden with Joey Whitaker. One of the things I love about the Carson Valley Inn here in beautiful downtown Minden is CB steak. I have eaten here so many times. Tell folks what they can expect when they come here to eat. It's a beautiful room, great service. We have certified Angus beef, seafood, lamb, a great range of appetizers, and wonderful desserts. Jean-Michel's done a great job of selecting some beautiful wines for us. The customers love it, and we've got a great selection of cocktails as well. It's not a long way to get away to the Carson Valley Inn. Modern Boutique Ahern Hotel and Events Center in Las Vegas. Host meetings and events on two floors. Stay in luxurious rooms and suites. 
unlimited branding opportunities. Regional Italian cuisine by Chef Mark Segrisi. Flexible event spaces. Full buyout options. Visit ahernhotel.com today. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Tim Sieber. He's the head of AHA, the airline, uh, and he's head of the business unit. Um, based in Reno, flying to all places across mm -hmm. uh, Northern California, Southern California, Pacific Northwest, uh, up into Idaho, correct? Yeah. Um, so the jets you're using, uh, these Embraer 50-seat um, jets, right. um, my understanding is that there are a lot of those jets that aren't being used, so right. this is beneficial to your company because you need spare parts, you need uh, additional planes, there are plenty out there to lease, correct? Yeah, there are. There, there, there's, there's an inventory out there for sure. Um, you know, the, the challenge is like a car that you leave in your garage that you don't start. Right. If it's been parked in the desert for a while, you may run into some troubles with them. So, you know, we're, uh, uh, we're very particular about the aircraft that we take. Uh, that said, you know, just yesterday we published that uh, during the month of July we flew 100% of our flights and 95% were on time. So, right. um, Muzzle you know, tough on that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Which is, you know, it's in contrast to the horror stories that you hear about the industry, you know, f for this summer. Uh, so, you know, we're very proud of those numbers. Okay, what is the role that ExpressJet, the parent company, plays in the operations of AHA? So, so ExpressJet is the operating company, and you know they own the AHA brand. You know, it's it's all one company. Um, you know, it's just that you know, when, like as an example, when we do our basketball charters, we do them under the ExpressJet brand. When we do our commercial flying, we do it under the AHA brand. Um, uh, maybe this is an aspirational statement, but you know, look at all the brands that Coca-Cola has. Right. <laughs> you know, this is just one of those brands. Okay, and um, you know, as you said at the very beginning of this interview, um, the airline business is not necessarily the best industry right. uh, to be involved in. Um, you know, how far uh, how how far along the road to profitability are you at this point? Well, we need to we 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 are on the road for sure. the The, the issue that we have is we need to get up to scale. Um, you know, this is a company that one time flew 400 airplanes, so we've got a big infrastructure. Uh, you know, we've got three, four airplanes dedicated to the AHA business unit. Um, so, you know, I think we'll probably hit break even somewhere around the 910 airplane, 910 airplanes, and we're on track to hit that number in 2023. In 2023, yeah. so th that, that's yeah. pretty darn quickly. Yeah. Um, do you think, um, you know, as you're looking, you know, because any time you start a business, uh, it's like going to war. You start with one plan and the plan goes out the oh, window sure. pretty much on day two. Right. Um, are, are you seeing more opportunity for business uh, travel uh, beyond tourism travel um, as you look down the road? You know, it's, it's, it's interesting you say that because one of the markets that has really surprised us is Spokane, Washington, where there actually are business travelers on there. Um, you know, and we know, for example, BNSF has a huge operation uh, the uh, railroad, the railroad, yeah, yeah. huge operation up up in Ida, up in Spokane, and they send folks back and forth on our flights to repair the trestles, and primarily, you know, in the summer. But now this can looks like, you know, if, if the, as they were saying two years ago with the fire season, um, you know, they really wished we had been here because they spent the entire fall and into the winter repairing the trestles and tracks. Um, so yeah, there there are some interesting opportunities there, um, you know. There's a limited opportunity for us to do that, you know, on a three time a week type trip. Uh, but certainly we are getting a higher share of business travelers than we thought. And I think the, the, the deciding factor for those business travelers is, hey, I can take, you know, an hour and 45 minute flight from Spokane for $79, or I can take a five hour connection over San Francisco or Seattle or Portland for $400. So even if I have to spend an extra night in a hotel room in Reno, which is not bad for Reno because bed tax and then you've got food and beverage and everything else, um, it's probably a more cost-effective trip for me. Um, when you Are you doing surveys with passengers after the fact to see what their thoughts are, A, about the airline, but B, about Reno itself? We are just actually implementing that program. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's been a technology issue, you know, as a small company. Uh, you know, we kind of have to prioritize our technology implementations, but we are heading in that direction. Yeah, because it seems that, um, you know, over the last few years, um, hotels in Reno like Whitney Peak mm -hmm. um, is non-gaming um, and non-smoking. Uh, same with Marriott Renaissance. Right. Um, that these brands tend to be sold out all the time because the tech people are using them. 
and that's what they're looking for. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's, it's interesting. You know, we we have a hotel in our name, and we'll eventually be having the hotel partnerships. Uh, but they will not be limited to the gaming properties. They'll be working with other properties as well. Yeah, it's 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 interesting that the growth of the business hotel in the Reno Sparks area and out at TRI is phenomenal. Um, has the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center played into your thinking in in terms of this? Was it there when the business plan was put together, or is that? come along as a very pleasant surprise. It, it, it was not there, you know, as, as part of our business plan. You know, we, we were, we took a very simplistic view of, you know, we're going to bring folks into Reno who either want to go to the lake or they want to go gaming. And that was sort of our target market. And then what we found is that, you know, what we, you know, you'll say if the fringe market, the fringe is actually quite big. <laughs> right. You know, so now we're starting to figure out how can we target those markets. Well, you got 25,000 people working out at TRI yeah. right now. And Tesla, the growth plan there is huge. Switch, the growth plan there is huge. I mean, th th there's a lot of more business people coming there. The, our, our biggest question is where to house them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, uh, all right, let's take another break. We'll come back more and we'll talk about uh, some of your competitors, all right? Okay. okay, we'll be right back. Southwest Specialties has been making the homes and businesses of Nevada beautiful for more than 20 years. Their experienced designers and craftsmen create the walkways, backyards, water features, and a variety of outdoor cooking areas that add curb appeal and value to your investment. Call today or visit them at their website and see how they can make your outdoor spaces special. Southwest Specialties, creative, distinctive, Beautiful. The Nevada Builders Alliance has been protecting the interests of the construction industry for over 50 years. Our programs save members thousands of dollars every year and allow them to provide much needed benefits to their employees. Our industry also allows Nevada to grow. If you're thinking about a career in the construction industry, reach out. And if you haven't thought of a career in construction, what are you waiting for? We are the Nevada Builders Alliance. Ahern Rentals began as Signal Gas Station on Las Vegas Boulevard. Founder John Ahern grew the business by offering rentals. His son Don built on John's legacy, growing Ahern Rentals into the largest independently owned American rental company with 89 locations in 30 states. Don also brought his experience and vision to equipment manufacturing with Extreme Manufacturing and Snorkel. Today, Ahern Rentals continues to bring its family values to a new generation. Learn more at ahern.com. The Do It Right guys at Nevada Heating have one mission. Your air conditioner breaks down today. We fix it today. Why sweat for days while your air is down when Nevada Heating can get the job done today and you can get cool again? For nearly 50 years, locally owned Nevada Heating has been getting the job done right. Call today at 323-5585 or see us online at nevadaheating.com. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we're talking with Tim Sieber. He's the head of AHA, the airline. He heads up the business unit. Uh, about to celebrate your one-year anniversary mm -hmm. uh, operating out of Reno and flying all across California and into the Pacific Northwest, up into Idaho, and bringing people here, but also now sending people uh, back. <laughs> well, yeah. Of course, you would like to do that anyway. It's yeah. kind of like the mission to the moon. Yeah. You want them to go and come right. back. <laughs> um, but it seems like you're deliberately not trying to compete with Allegiant, even right. though you're both low-cost airlines. What's the thinking there? So, w you know, we take Allegiant into consideration. As an example, you know, we, we fly to Idaho. We're starting service to Idaho Falls on August, August 11th. And Allegiant flies there from Las Vegas. So we take Allegiant into our calculations because at the end of the day, we're competing for disposable income, right? So if Allegiant's offering, you know, a $34 fare to Las, Las Vegas and we're offering a $59 fare to Reno, you know, can we, can we get people to make that choice? And, and our argument is this, is, you know, having gone to Las Vegas for a weekend back in April, you know, it's a thousand dollar weekend. Right. <laughs> you know. It could be a thousand dollar dinner. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly, yes. It's easily a thousand dollar dinner. It's eighteen dollar martinis and you know, it's just it's crazy. Um, so, you know, we 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 don't target, you know, the people that wanna hang out by the pool and spend five hundred dollars on a cabana at the pool. That's not our target market. Our target market is people who are looking for a value vacation. 
um, you know, get all the thrill of the gaming that you can get in Vegas, but without the price, um, and and the and the lake. So you know, we you'll never see us compete head to head with uh, Allegiant or Spirit or somebody like that. You know, we know that that's not our niche, um, but we do take them into consideration in that, you know, we are competing in some ways for the same discretionary dollars. Well, it's interesting too, uh, Grand Sierra Resort, mm -hmm. uh, Alex Morello, of which people who follow this program know I'm a big fan, um, he opened the Lex nightclub mm -hmm. uh, in Northern Nevada, put a couple of million bucks into this nightclub, and people thought he was crazy, uh, but what it turned out to be was that you could get the Las Vegas nightclub experience for a half the price. Right. And for folks coming up from San Francisco and Sacramento, they, especially the younger people, that was a big deal. So you could come there and, and experience that. Um, so, um, w you know, one of the things about Allegiant that's interesting is that their profit margin is through the roof, yeah. I guess, which is one of the reasons they have the naming rights for that rather yeah. large stadium <laughs> yeah. in Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, so, so as you sit here at the end of the first year, um, it, it seems like you're brimming with optimism. Yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're pretty excited about the future. You know, it, it was a, it was a kind of a challenging year. You know, we started at what we thought was the end of the pandemic, and then Omicron hit, and then we had fuel over oil prices went through the roof. Uh, so, you know, we, we have not been without our challenges, but, you know, we think we've made the right choice in Reno, Tahoe, and we're really kind of excited about the future. Um, you know, the one thing I haven't mentioned is we're going to, uh, it's not, is a partnership with uh, UNR, Wolfpack. So we'll be, we'll be uh, the official airline of the Wolfpack for this coming year. Well, that's not a bad thing to be. That's it's not a bad thing to be. It's not quite Allegiant Stadium naming rights, but it's not a bad thing to be. I, hey, it's pretty close for it's us up in the north. Yeah. Hey, real pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you Thank very Thank you, and continued success. Appreciate that. We need all the help we can get with air service, and, and you're certainly helping. So thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Thanks. And we'll be right back. Early in the morning or throughout the night, professional truck drivers are on the job, serving you safely moving freight that's crucial to our economy. From the oldest industries to our newest innovators. From the exotic to the everyday. Trucks are everywhere, moving everything. Never afraid to embrace a future that makes Nevada and our nation stronger. Trucking moves America forward. As you know, Reno is booming. Toll's development company is helping it grow with insightful design and development, building community with every project, adding beauty, adding excitement, emphasizing our shared humanity. Reno is becoming bigger. Toll's development is helping it become better, more livable, more enjoyable. To learn more, go to tollsdevelopment.com, tollsdevelopment.com. Nevada Newsmaker Studio is located at the headquarters of the Nevada Trucking Association. Motion and purpose are a truck's greatest virtue. As always, you can watch Nevada Newsmakers 24 hours a day at nevadanewsmakers.com. You can also check our archive going back to 2005 on our website. Again, nevadanewsmakers.com. We'll see you on the next show.